Y'all ready for some art? I'm ready for some art. I'm ready for a lot of art. I'm really in the mood for art today. Wee! Piece of shit. Stupid little cunt. Ugh, fuck. Are we ready to start this disaster? Everybody! Why am I doing that? I don't know why. It's like, I'm ready to slap an ass around here, but it is... It is the season of the bones, so if I slap it, I'm just gonna hear all this rattling from, I don't know, I guess I'm slapping a skeleton's ass, but it's not really its ass, it's more like its pelvis, like the back of its pelvis, maybe it's its tailbone, I don't know, well it's just gonna be rattling around. Anyways y'all, welcome, welcome to another crazy video where I just do stuff. Uh, we're gonna be... Yeah, we're gonna be doing art in this video. That's what we're gonna be doing. I didn't plan any of this. I didn't plan <laughs> I literally didn't script this or anything else like that. So if this goes downhill, absolutely expect it to go downhill. Just expect it to come out as shit. I'm just doing a whole bunch of editing to try to make this video look more interesting than it actually is, probably. Anyways, um, I hope you all can hear me. Can you guys see me? Yeah? You like that high definition? Yeah? Yeah, anyways, look. Look, I got my own ring light, too. Wow. Is this, am I gonna look pretty? Am I actually gonna look like... Can you actually look at me now? Do I look pretty? Can you see me in my eyes? Ooh, I got pretty eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Anyways, we're gonna stop doing that clap thing. I don't know why I'm doing that. I need to literally chain myself like this and just be like this. Um, oh, wait, maybe I don't wanna do that. Maybe I do wanna do that. Yeah, maybe you guys draw something kinky of me just on that stupid board that... You know, I'm not gonna go into more explanation. You guys can just use your little imagination for that. Anyways, tis the season. Tis the season. A spooky, scary season. To do spooky, scary stuff. Ooh, I don't, I don't have on a spooky costume. Look, the only thing I have in here is a gorilla costume. But I, I really just don't feel like like cutting this video off just to go put on the gorilla costume come back do something for a second and uh then take it off and come back and sit down in the same place i just don't feel like it so um maybe we'll just share our, we'll share all that fuzziness another time um i guess it'd be pretty scary if a gorilla jumped out of nowhere oh you know the gor uh, gorilla glue commercials those are pretty fucking terrifying <laughs> I mean, I guess if a gorilla comes out of it. Anyways, we're getting completely off the subject. I don't know why I'm talking about gorilla posts around here. Uh, we need to talk about art, because that's what we're doing this video. I know we got Inktober going on, everything else like that. I cannot do, I just, it's not just I don't have the time, I just don't. I have other art projects, like tons of them that I start and I just never finish in general. But uh, I decided to do maybe, uh, at least if I can do one thing uh, that's inkish like I guess, uh, I guess we're gonna do it this video. On this nice little art desk, I need to use more to make and do all my art stuff on. Yeah, look at this, this is so interesting. Yeah, it's fucking hell trying to set this up, okay? It's a pain in my fucking ass, and I hope to god my camera doesn't run out because it looks a little low. Maybe it's just low for me, it's like, yeah, it's like, I don't wanna fucking, I don't wanna record this anymore. It's just get the fuck out <laughs> I'm gonna do my own like October thing and I decided to do like a horror self-portrait thing and uh, with me it's like I actually did come up with some something for like myself and everything else like that uh, like maybe over a year or two ago at this point um, I've just never actually drawn I probably just never really actually drawn like a self-portrait or anything else like that so I thought it'd be kind of interesting to do that and, uh, you know, show, show some sort of side of that. Obviously, it doesn't have to be something that's over the top, anything else like that. But, um, you know, as you can see from the sketches and everything else that I did, um, I've been working on different things. Like, um, well, the first one, this was the first idea that I had. But then I, you know, obviously you can't always go with the first one. So this is why you always sketch out your ideas. Because, like, if you only have that one day idea in your head, it's like, oh, this is great, I'm just going to draw, I'm just going to do this. No, 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 don't do that, all right? You're fucking yourself up. You really, really want to sketch and come up with some more ideas first, okay? Don't just whip your dick on on paper and just expect it to look pretty. You know, you gotta prepare yourself, you know? You gotta put in the lube and everything. Like, there's a whole entire process. Anyways, so I started out with this sketch first. 
And then um, the second one I had more like a face, um, full on face on than like almost like a half body to the full body of the first one. And I really like the feeling, like the intense feeling of that. I want a little bit, probably a slightly a bit more realistic on the face with that and everything else. And then the last one, I really like that one and that's why I just started to, um, I pretty much just started like going online, like trying a little bit different things with it. Um, like, and that one is definitely a little bit more realistic. I was actually looking, I actually take reference photos, everything else like that. So those are pretty interesting to see and take. And I don't really want to share any of those because, uh, they're kind of embarrassing. You know, you make one of these weird faces, like. Yeah, it's very weird. I guess we're going to get into it. Anyways, um, you now I'm already, already ready. Got my. Got my T-square and everything else. Oh, oh, you think this is impressive? Well, wait until you see my bigger one. Look at this one. This is a biggie. All right, make sure to get your T-square ready. You know, you gotta get in there. Get all ready. Yeah, I don't know why I have this. This is literally like a sword. I can't even fit the whole entire, <laughs> I'm trying to fit the whole entire damn thing in there. It's like, girl, it's just too long. Y'all ready for some art? I'm ready for some art. I'm ready for a lot of art. I'm really in the mood for art today. Wee! Damn, if this thing slapped you in the face, it probably would knock you out. You could really get some serious damage with this. <laughs> Let's go spend 20 to something minutes trying to set up this in a certain way where it doesn't look like shit. So let's go on and do that. So, I sketched a little more. I was trying to go off a little bit more with these ideas, and I thought uh, maybe having, like, um, me, like, in, like, a little shadow, like, um, thing like this maybe would do it. Like, if I had it slightly slanted, or maybe me, like, in a mirror or something, obviously I had to make the mirror bigger so I can fit, um, those weird tentacle things in there. By the way, those things are, like, um, they're very weird. They're actually based off real animals. Which are, I think they're the sea lamprey, yeah, actually the sea lamprey is what they're based off. So that's what those disgusting things coming out of my fucking mouth are. Sea lampreys, they're just sucking on on, you know. Oh, by the way, here they are. They just love to give a lot of kisses.
so this is what I have right now. Um, I'm not as happy, like, I've been trying to, like, go back and forth and, like, fix the expression because I actually liked it how it was originally right here. I don't like it as much right here. I am trying something, like, a little bit, a tiny bit more realistic uh, than, you know, my usual, like, anime-esque style, I guess. I still wanted to do the tilt and everything else like that. I was so afraid, like, I was having a lot of trouble over here, like, fitting in the, um... The other little like sea lamprey monster thing and I was looking at some references when I was doing this some of this I did make a little bit up I just thought it'd be really neat for this guy over here because I was trying to think about it really hard what I wanted to do with this guy and I thought it'd be cool like if he was like going in like a silhouette um like thing and like the all maybe I'll like slightly silhouette this guy too I'm not really sure but it'd just be like the white of the eyes uh, I would show um, but yeah, I was thinking, like, maybe if I could just make some more damn room, I can fucking get in here. I'm, like, trying to move everything away from me trying to get in here. But, um, I was thinking I could make, like, the background black and then maybe keep her white with maybe, like, a splash. I was thinking, like, maybe I could have, like, some blood here. Like, one splash of color. I originally wanted to, like, do purple, um, because the eyes are actually purple. Um, I'm most likely going to be adding, like, uh, I need to add, I need to figure out what I'm doing over here. Like, I want, like, some of the hair, like, going over, um, you know, the sea lamprey and everything else like that. Uh, I'm just not really sure I like how it is right now. Um, definitely I want them to come out of borders and everything else like that. But yeah, my original plan was to keep this kind of, like, black, uh, black and white plus the one splash of color. And, uh, I mean, that's all I got right now. I'm gonna go back, do a couple more little details, add some more eyes, and then I'm finally gonna get to the line and everything else. And it's gonna be super cool and everything else. Anyways, kisses from down below.
So I did a poll on um, Instagram, and uh, I was asking people of DeviantArt and some other places, um, specifically with these colors. So I came up with like a couple different colors and everything that I could possibly use for my final image, which is I'm going to be right here, obviously, as you guys already saw that. But uh, I had to come up with some colors. I'm using some uh, Copic colors here. But uh, essentially, I was just trying out some different things and seeing what worked out for me. Um, I personally like this one, but a lot of people seem to really like this one. So I tried to go a little bit more off, off, off that idea, and um, I came up with these two over here. Um, I think I particularly like this one a little bit more, and a lot of people seem to like this one a little bit more. Um, so I think at this point I'm just going to go with number 5. This one, I guess the colors are sort of clashing, maybe just a tiny bit with each other. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Also, if you notice, I'm actually using a gel, a new, like, gel pen that I got. It's, like, absolutely great. And I'm asking myself now, it's like, where? It's like, where have you been my whole entire life? Anyways, let's get the final color.
here is the final piece. This is what I did right here, right here. Look at this. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Anyways, I was thinking about uh, adding some color pencils, but uh, I just decided maybe that's a little bit too much detail, and I just wanted to stick with a couple main colors that I had, which was the blues and purples. So I just kind of kept it this way, and I don't count the black as the color, so that's... We don't have to worry about that. But anyways, you all, I really hope you enjoyed this video and what I did here. I haven't tr touched any traditional media in, like, the longest time ever. So it's been quite a while, probably like several months, since I touched Copics and then I'm finally back at them. So I really hope this came out, um, I mean I particularly like it, I actually had a lot of fun with the gel pens and everything else like that. So yeah, and you get to see this little sucker right here, giving you all the kisses every single day, every single time. But uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun to do, I really like this, I guess it's kind of like a color challenge thing I guess you should call it that <laughs> where I only have those certain colors again um but do you guys think I personally maybe should have added like some color pencils to it or maybe something else did you guys happen to like like any of the other co color choices that I had again I was initially going for the complete um what was it? number four which was the complete like grayscale one that I had in mind uh, but a lot of people seem to really like this one, and actually I really like how this one came out, um, too, so I'll be taking pictures, you know, getting some really close-up shots of this, and like, wow, look at this, look at these details, and everything else like this. <laughs> uh, but again, it's been so long since I saw these colors, it's probably not gonna look the best, but I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good for someone who hasn't, uh, touched their, uh, colors in a really long time. Anyway, anyways, you all, y'all, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I hope you guys will be back for another art video. Bye, you all. <laughs> Goodbye. Dan, this thing gets in the fucking way of everything. God, I'm just trying to do art. I'm just trying to live my life in my fucking way. I gotta be in the way all the goddamn time.